Meal the rosemary. Right. <clears throat> huh? He did it! Yeah. Who are you? So that's what happened. Well, thanks for saving my life. So we were hoping you'd help Regal. Of course. I'll go and explain everything to the prison guard right away. Uh, wait just a second. So was the fire started by the light? It was caused by this strange frog that gave off an intense heat and bright flashes. It ate up all my seafood gels. Then it was surrounded by this white light and all the surrounding crates burst into flame. Anyway, I'll tell you all about it later. Uh. Well, it looks like he made a full recovery. Yeah. Well, let's go see Regal. Good idea. free I owe you a great debt thank you I'm sorry that I ever doubted you let me take off those handcuffs wait huh what's the matter I can't find the key maybe I dropped it somewhere graduated top of your class at guard school huh what's that supposed to mean if only Lloyd were here he'd be able to pick the lock in no time Hopefully, I won't get arrested a second time for a destruction of property. The manufacturer of these handcuffs isn't exactly known for their quality craftsmanship. Perhaps you should try the Lazareno Group model next time. I'll send you a free sample. Y yes, sir! I'm sorry, but I would like to change my clothes. Would you mind if I went ahead to the inn? Good idea. I never thought I'd see you in a prison uniform again. I'm truly ashamed. I must thank you all again for what you've done. I really do appreciate
What is it? You want to hear more about the fire? Yes, please. So Regal and I were talking, and suddenly this bright ball of light appeared in front of us. And that was from the light frog? Yeah, a lit up frog. It was really bright, and Regal passed out almost as soon as he saw it. I was wearing sunglasses, so I was okay at first. It started giving off light as soon as it appeared? That's a bit odd. I'm telling you the truth. Then it started to eat my seafood gels, and flames started shooting all over the place. I thought maybe I could put it out somehow, so I swung at it with my hand. But then I felt really weak. You must have touched its poison when you hit the light frog. So... you can get poison just by touching it? Oh man, that's some frog. the Nasdrovia poison could be that strong. It's called the Light Frog. Right. The Nasdrovia doesn't usually knock people out for that long. I believe you mean the Light Frog. Maybe the Nasdrovia strengthened its defenses when Berg struck it, resulting in a stronger poison. Light Frog! All the more reason to be extra careful around all monsters, not just the Nasdrovia. Fine. I see how it is. I get it. Tenebrae. I was starting to get worried for a moment. Thank you for helping me. I never imagined we would run into each other again in this manner. Did you come here looking for Lloyd? Wait, you know where Lloyd went? And just who are you? Ah, uh, yes. Things have gotten rather complicated. Why don't we give you the basic rundown? Tenebi, come out, will you? It's Tenebrae. I can't believe Lloyd would keep secrets like that from us. First Ratatosk, then the Centurion's cores. Just like with the Summon Spirits and the Angels, we seem to be bound by fate to things of this nature. So, um, what about Lloyd? From what I heard from Berg, Lloyd is headed for Flanor. Apparently it was very recent. Rain! We might be able to catch up with him after all. If I may be so bold, I too am concerned about Lloyd. Would it be too much to ask that I accompany you on your journey? I'm sure Rain and I wouldn't mind. What about Marta and Emil? I'm fine with that. We probably won't be of much help, but if you're okay with that, what about you, Tenebrae? I will follow whatever course you and Lady Marta choose. Thank you. On the name of my eternal beloved, I swear that I shall not betray you. Well then, shall we depart? What is it, Emil? No, it's nothing. Finally, we can get on the boat. I hope we're doing the right thing. Emil? Is something troubling you? Emil, come on! <sighs> What's Lloyd Irving doing over there? What? Where? Show yourself, Lloyd! I don't believe the problem is with his hearing. What's wrong with him? I never imagined we would be reunited under these circumstances. And we never expected to find you behind bars again. I know, seriously. I thought for sure you'd be busy issuing orders from Lazareno HQ. In addition to my duties as president, I'm also working as chairman on the board of a startup company. We're hoping to develop this new business mainly in Silverant. I was traveling around to get a feel for the market. Oh, that's right. Even though it's a Tetha Ala based company, Lazareno is popular with Silveranti. The efforts they invested into rebuilding Palma Costa must be playing a big role. Many Tetha Alans continue to treat Silveranti like savages. If my company can help change that way of thinking, it will have served its purpose. But thanks to the conflict with Tetha Ala, half elves aren't persecuted as much as they used to be. Yes. 
Half-elves have become valued for their knowledge. The overall situation is unfortunate, but perhaps it can also be an opportunity. It looks like we both have a few problems that must be dealt with. But our problem right now is Lloyd. Yes. I wonder what he's up to right now. Now boarding for Flanor! What's the matter? You look worried. Um... The boat's about to leave! Well, you see... You're a man! Speak up! Right. I'm still worried about the fire. The light frog could appear again while we're out looking for Lloyd. That would mean the fires won't stop. Yes, that's certainly true. Though the light frog shouldn't produce enough heat to start fires, except under extraordinary circumstances. But the fires in town have been going on for a while, so these extraordinary circumstances must be happening. Perhaps it's another side effect of a dormant centurion's core. As its vulgar human name would suggest, the light frog is a light elemental monster, and the core of centurion of light is... Oh, right. Lloyd has Lumen's core. Exactly. Therefore, the only way that we can resolve this problem is by finding Lloyd and hatching Lumen's core. Then we must hurry and go after Lloyd. But I'm worried about what'll happen if we just leave the town without doing anything. You said so yourself, Frank. As long as there's a chance, you have to pursue it. So you're saying that you'd like to look for a way to control the Light Frog's incendiary tendencies? Now that we've explained the situation to the people in town, I'm pretty sure things should be fine for a while. How about this? Rain, you and Genus can go on ahead to Flanor and find out what you can about Lloyd. We'll stay here and try to settle this whole Light Frog conundrum. All right, that should be fine. The ship bound for Flanor is departing! All aboard! Emil, Marta, see you soon. You too, Tenebi. Take care of yourselves. I do hope you'll call me Tenebre the next time we meet. Rain, thank you. See you later, Genus. Good luck, guys. See ya. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to give this to you, Regal. What is it? <laughs> I guess you could say it's a love letter. Rain? Wow, she's so bold. I better learn from her example. Read it later when you're alone. Don't show it to anyone else. I never thought I'd receive such a gift from someone as beautiful as you. I will protect it with my life. This can't be happening. What if Regal becomes my brother-in-law? So first off, shall we check out all the places in town where fire had broken out? Yes. Incredibly polite, kind, and strong, too. We're not all that dissimilar. Our only difference is I've been alive a little longer. You would do well to follow his example, Emile. Um... You're one to talk, Tenebrae. You've been around way longer than Regal, and all you do is nag and complain. Yes, yes, I'm an old fogey, I know. Hey, um, Regal? What is it, Marta? So, you know that letter Rain gave you? I mean, was it really about... you know? <laughs> I hardly think it would be at all proper to reveal its contents. Rain, like all women, is entitled to keep her secrets private. Private secrets? Like a confession of her love for you? <laughs> I'll leave that to your imagination. Oh my gosh, no, I have to read it! Thank you. 
It appears we've seen all the fire sites now. However, none of the locations are places you'd expect to find a light frog. There must be some common thread tying them together. Gels. It's gels. Gels? gels? That's what all the fire sites have in common. Seafood gels. Don't be ridiculous. Who ever heard of a light frog with an appetite for gels? But Emil's right. All of the fires happened in places where seafood gels were being stored. Now see here, I am a centurion. I am an expert on monster behavior. I guess you're right, but... Quit it, Tenebrae. You're only the centurion of darkness. What the hell would you know about a light elemental monster like the Light Frog? But... Quiet! It's time to put our theory to the test. Let's go! G go where? To get some seafood gels from Bird. We'll use them to lure the Light Frog out of hiding. So this is the Ratatosk mode that Rain was talking about. Hmm. Suppose I should see how things play out. You think seafood gels attract the light frog? <laughs> don't be stupid. What do you know? We'll never know if we don't try, so just hand over the damn gels. Jeez, what happened to you? It's like you're a completely different person. Our apologies. I'm afraid he's a bit on edge today. Well, I wouldn't mind giving you some, only all of my seafood gels burned up in the fire. Then please make some more for us. Sure, if you'll bring me the ingredients. What do you need? I'm all out of jellyfish. I need to go to Triot to catch some more. But I won't be heading there anytime soon. After everything that's happened, I need a few days rest. So, what do you want to do? Go and get some jellyfish, of course. Well then, you better take some of this with you. It's the only bait the jellyfish really respond to. Sure, what's on your mind? I want to know what makes men tick. Guys are always rejecting me, saying I'm annoying or too serious or whatever. Any man who would say such things is not worthy of your time. You are a charming young lady. But... I cannot claim to be much of a strategist, but I have learned that sometimes it may be better to pull back when being assertive doesn't work. Pull back? However, if your question has anything to do with Emil, then... Okay, I've got it. I'll start with the pulley. Cut it out, Marta. Why are you yanking on my arm all of a sudden? <sighs> It's been a while. Do you fish? 
Yes, every now and then I take the yacht out for marlin fishing. Wow, it must be great being the president of Lazareno. Marta, do you prefer rich guys like Regal? What do you mean? Emil, please. I believe your petty jealousies can wait until after we've caught some jellyfish. What? No, I didn't... What? I know you're uncomfortable witnessing the first female interested in you complimenting another man. No, you've got it all wrong. That's not what I meant. And you... do you... do you have a crush on me? No, I didn't say anything like that. Come on, Tenebrae, cut it out. Yes, yes, understood. That was amazing. Thank you. Hey, Emil, about what you said earlier. Never mind about that. It wasn't anything important at all. Not important at all? Oh, I see. Uh, I'm sorry. was quite a catch. No marlin I've ever caught can compare. It certainly was enormous. For a moment, I believed I might snap in too. Fishing is really more fun than I thought it would be. I'd like to try it again sometime. I shall be happy to give you some lessons. Ocean fishing is enjoyable to be sure, but you simply must experience stream fishing. You <laughs> mean it? That would be great. You almost sound like you could be my father, Regal. Your father? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean... Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome to the old fogey club. 